Hi, Calvary, and we're here with your word for the day. And today we're going to be looking at one of the last statements Jesus said on the cross. And it's found in Luke 23. And he says, Then Jesus, calling out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And there's so much significance and importance for us to understand in this saying. And the first is that Jesus was completely trusting God. See, when we commit to something, we are pledging allegiance to someone or something. And that can be as simple as committing to go to a party. You're committing to go and show up and engage in the party. But what Jesus was committing to was far greater and more significant than anything that we commit to. He was committing to follow God's plan of salvation. And that plan included him going to the cross and suffering and dying to pay for our sins. But that plan wasn't always easy for Jesus to follow. And we can see that in the Garden of Gethsemane, the night that he was betrayed and arrested. He cried out to God and said, Father, if at all possible, take this cup from me, but not my will be done, but your will be done. And so even though Jesus didn't want to have to suffer and die, he chose to be obedient to God and follow through with the plan that God had set in place. And see, Jesus could have saved himself. He could have not gone to the cross or even taken himself off the cross, but he chose to follow through with what God had set in place so that he could bring about salvation for all of us. And that's so significant and important. And then when Jesus said these words, he knew that when he experienced death, that he was going to be reunited with God in heaven. And this is so important for us as followers of Christ, because this gives us hope and assurance in our death that our spirit will be with God in heaven immediately when we die. And that is so good and comforting and can bring peace to us. The other really significant thing about Jesus saying this on the cross was that he was quoting Psalm 31. And, and this is a Psalm of David. And it says, In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress, and for your name's sake you lead me and guide me. You take me out of the net they have hidden for me. You are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. See, both David and Jesus knew that their spirit was safe with God. There is no security and no deliverance in this world apart from God. There's nothing that can save us and deliver us and bring us safety and security. There's a false identity in things, but only true security and deliverance comes from God. The other really important thing is that David's words of crying out for rescue and deliverance are fulfilled in Jesus' actions on the cross because Jesus' death brought about deliverance for all of mankind. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone who confesses that they believe in Jesus and ask him to forgive them of their sin will be saved. And if you're watching this right now and you've never taken that step to enter into a relationship with Jesus, I would just encourage you right now to have a conversation with God and confess that you believe in Jesus and ask him to forgive you of your sins and he will save you. And if you choose to do that, then reach out to someone and tell them that you have entered into a relationship with Jesus or put it in the comments of this video so that people can celebrate with you. But for those of us who already have a relationship with Jesus, um, we can learn from Jesus' example. See, Jesus quoted scripture in his darkest hour and with immense pain. And so that example is important for us as no matter what we are going through in good times or darkness, we can go to scripture and find hope and peace and comfort. And it's so important for us to know God's word and be able to apply it in every area of our life, no matter what is going on, because it's going to give us strength and hope and peace through every situation. And finally, Jesus committed his spirit to God. 
See, God used his pain and his suffering to bring about salvation for all of history. And so when we are going through dark times and difficult times, we can surrender that to God, knowing that he's going to redeem it for his purpose and his glory, and that we can trust that God's plan is good and is greater than ours, and that God is faithful to us and that he is good and loving no matter what is going on. And so today, Calvary, I pray that you would commit your spirit to God and that you would trust him with every moment of your life up until you breathe your last and get to see Jesus face to face. Have a great day, Calvary.